now watching a very, very special party sound, a very messy party sound with the Apollo 440 and Mooby, who just kind of wandered in the Moobie. studio and is here again. Mooby. 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 Hello, Mooby. Hey, it's me. So, hey, yeah. so, Yo, Mooby. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. How's it going, that? <laughs> okay, now listen. Both you guys are actually doing this both, thing. Both, actually, yeah, both of us. Both of us. Okay, well, both you four and him no, on both, his own. Yeah. So all of us. Both all of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we got the message. Okay, Go listen. On. You don't just do like dance music. You're all like mixed rock into it as well. I mean, you do it. Yeah. Or like yeah. add punk rock in between. You guys do oh, it. We totally do it. You yeah. totally do it. Yeah. Yeah. Punk rock. So do you see yourself more as like oh, yeah. rock stars or as dance artists? What? What? I mean, um, why? Why? Why is is thing? Why do things have to be like ghettoized? Reduced to such a puny ghettoization? Um, I never bought this rock I mean, dance thing. This rock dance dichotomy is such a, a journalistic phenomenon. Mm. It's like it's about drama. It's about excitement. It's about dynamics. It's about performance. And it's about entertainment and it's like all those things are in dance all those things are in rock and it's all the same thing you know so what do you think do you think that more people he thinks that as well i know i know he, he bangs Completely. his keyboard on his head and <laughs> jumps around the place <laughs> yeah. like we do right? you know, uh, what happened to him, <laughs> what happened to him? <laughs> i mean he, do, he does it all dressed up like a woman he doesn't care just anything yeah, yeah. We're, so, we're, we're all gonna have our effort like moby in the minute <laughs> yeah. in a minute can i go and do it live on air oh yeah, yeah you can do it yeah oh great okay, okay, as long so, as we can wear your outfit Mm. Yeah, You're more than easy. welcome to. Mm. Actually, okay, knockers so look really good. Cool. So they would. look really juicy. No, but that's easy. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, God, that would be so rude. <laughs> but I totally love my it? question now. Thank you very much. Come on, Simone, get a grip. Blackout. Blackout's the next video. No, Play it. No. no. Simone, come on, get a grip. Get your script out. No, I don't want to get my script out. I just want to know about your record label. Mm. Oh, I don't want to ask you anything anymore. I'm getting a bag on here now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, we, we formed our, our label Stealth Sonic in 1990, put, our, put the first few Apollo records and a few records by a few other people. Like, I mean, from a Stevie Hyper, who's like a big name on the jungle scene right now. Yeah, I know. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, it's all this kind of stuff. Come there. Come there. Around about 1992, we just <laughs> figured. If we were going to take this Apollo thing to a broader spectrum, we, we needed the backing Hammer. and the kind of co promotional clout of a major label. So we basically licensed Stealth to, to Sony, the biggest, you know, baddest electronic, biggest, baddest electronic corporate in the world. And, you know, we've, we've got their clout. And you, our, if you don't so sell out to the man, you sell out to the biggest <laughs> man. We haven't, we haven't <laughs> sold out to the man, Trevor, darling. We haven't quite sold out to <laughs> But Trevor, <laughs> darling, we're going to go and watch another video. Yeah. You guys stay tuned because I'm going to cut off his hair. We're all going to get changed. And, oh, I don't know what. Oh, you're bang into the yeah. mic again. It's all oh, going very okay. messy and stay tuned. And here's uh, Total Blackout. Well, Blackout is all we can do.